Hi everyone, this is Jay Singh from Technic Solutions. Welcome to my channel. So in this video, we are going to look at uh, how to create a new virtual machine, which is Ubuntu Server 18.04.1 on uh, Hyper-V. So for that, we need an um, ISO file of Ubuntu Server. To do that, you can actually download that file from ubuntu.com forward slash download forward slash server link is given in the description you can click on that so as you can see that when you go to that link you have few options here but i will be using 18.04.1 it is lts which means long term support uh, it is supported till april 2023 which is just over four years to go and it is 64 bit only so you can click on download it will it will download the iso file for you make that file ready and open hyper-v so to start with, you need a virtual switch for Ubuntu server so that you can access um, internet, all right? So to do that, you can, uh, on the right-hand side, you will see virtual switch manager. Click on that and you can create a new virtual switch. I have already created a virtual switch called SCCM external. That is the virtual switch I will be using. Uh, it, this switch is connected with the ethernet adapter of my computer and that ethernet adapter is connected to my home router from where I'm getting internet connectivity. Alright, so if you click on new virtual, um, new virtual switch, external, create virtual switch and then you can name that anything and after that in external network you will have two options if you have ethernet, ethernet card um, connected or if you have ethernet card on your actual computer or on your um, laptop okay so I am having I am having ethernet and wireless so I will be using just ethernet and I will click on apply and okay so this is how my SCCM external virtual switch is ready to use alright and I will be using a static IP address which means that IP address is not part of the DHCP lease and it is not given out to any other computer on my network okay so this is the thing that you have to keep in mind that uh, otherwise there will be an IP conflict on your network alright so once you are ready with your virtual switch and then we are going to create a new virtual machine to do that on the top right hand corner we will click new virtual machine so before you begin some information here uh, click on uh, next and then name your virtual machine I will be naming it Ubuntu 01 and I will be storing it on a different place and you can uh, pick your own place from uh, where you would like to store it um, and uh, I'm going to create a new folder I will name it Ubuntu 01 as well and I will use that folder and then click on next it's a generation I'm using gen 1 next memory I'm happy with 1 gig I will use uh, uh, dedicated one gig and I will uncheck dynamic up to you you can click on dynamic as well click next configure networking in a networking we are going to pick uh, um, virtual switch which is SCCM external click next and this is the virtual hard disk I would like to create um, only 20 GB so up to you and it depends what you're going to use it I'm primarily using this one for Skype IT so I do not need uh, much space for that so I will I use only 20 GB click next and uh, install options I will be, will be using ISO file so, so I click on image file browse to that um, it is Ubuntu 1804.1 okay click next and finish alright so now our Ubuntu server is ready uh, we will double click on that virtual machine and start it so double click on your virtual uh, machine and click on start give it a few seconds and it will load and then after that it will come up with the language option which language you would like to pick okay so here are the different languages with the down arrow you can change it but I'm sticking with English select English and hit enter and uh, with the keyboard layout um, English US is the default at the moment I'm sticking with that and I'm using that and I will hit enter to continue so install Ubuntu yes hit enter and uh, IP address so use up arrow to browse to that and uh, hit enter you will see these different options here and uh, we are going to choose edit IPv4 with the down arrow hit enter and then again um, 
hit enter and then click on manual so IP address so the subnet is the first option uh, which will be 10.0.0.0 forward slash 24 okay that is the, my subnet so you can enter your subnet and IP address will be 10.0.0.11 so that is static IP a default gateway will be 10.0.0.10 .10, which is the router address and uh, name servers it is the DNS address and you can enter few here but I'm going to use only one 10.0.0.10 .10. okay and down arrow um, enter down arrow and then enter again okay now so now if you have proxy address you can enter here I do not have and I'm going to enter and mirror address I'm keeping that one which is the default hit enter um, you would like to use entire disk yes please I'm going to use entire disk and hit enter uh, you can see that disk size is 20 GB hit enter and um, again I'm keeping uh, these uh, settings default hit enter and down arrow uh, continue hit enter again so your name um, you can enter your name here jsync and um, servers name Ubuntu 01 uh, pick a username snipe IT will be the username and password twice and down arrow hit done and these are the few options you have these are server snaps if you'd like to pick any you can and uh, hit the space bar and it will select that and install it on your server um, but I don't want to so you straight away you can hit tab it will take you to done otherwise if you want to browse you can uh, use down or up arrow and I will enter and that is done so it is installing um, Ubuntu server for us it will take a few minutes depends on your hardware I will be back once it is ready all right now Ubuntu server is ready and it is it will prompt us to reboot it and uh, before we do that and we have to eject the media otherwise it will uh, reboot to that media so I click on media and then DVD drive eject Ubuntu click on that and let's just double check it is not there so I've seen in some cases it's it just gets stuck when we enter reboot and uh, let's see what happens now otherwise we can turn it off and start again um, so hit enter looks like it's stuck I'll just turn it off and then I will just start it again and then it will be just fine so I'll just turn it off click on start it will start the virtual machine again you will see that blank screen for a few seconds then it will just kick off okay it took about um, one to two minutes on the blank screen and then it just started working now um, so I'll give it a few more minutes and it will be ready and then it will come up with the snipe IT user to log in all right so now it is ready so Ubuntu 01 login so we log in as a snipe IT hit enter and enter your password and uh, here we are so we are logged in and if I click on if config you can see my IP address which is 10.0.0.11 we have given that IP address statically and if I ping to Google DNS server and um, it will actually get a reply back alright that's all for this video I made this uh, video primarily for Snipe IT but in general you can use it uh, of course Ubuntu for any other thing you would like to do thanks for watching and um, if you feel like this video was informative for you give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for further new videos thank you see you next time